Hi, this is John Darrington from Olathe, Kansas, USA. Welcome to Me and My Golf. Thanks, Pierce and Andy, for helping me take charge of my game. So thank you for that intro, John. Now, look, Andy, this is a little bit different. This isn't quite PGA the Asprey show. This. this is nice. Yeah, so we're at the PGA show in Orlando, Florida, and we're at the Trackman booth. Um, this is going to be quite exciting. We're going to see everything on the simulator here. So look, my swing now is Andy. John, let's get into this straight away. John is looking to play a draw, OK? And if we look at his golf swing in a moment, you'll see there's some similarities. He's trying, he's trying to get something in there already. Yeah. So he wants to be more consistent. He wants to play a draw. He's an eight handicap but he does get inconsistent contacts across the face. Yeah, he wants to strike it a little more solid as strike well. Strike yeah. it more solid as well. So we see some toe strikes and some fat and thin shots as well. So let's go straight into, his, uh, into the, the analysis here. Now, first thing I'm gonna look at is actually his practice swing. It's great here, John, that we can see you have got the mindset to play a draw because we can see you're trying to shallow your practice swings when you are obviously about to hit the golf ball. So down the line, when he actually gets settled now into the shot, we see there's a lot of weight on the back of the heels there, so that suggests that that could cause a problem for his balance points throughout his golf swing. Yeah. As he takes the club back, we can see the club is going up outside, above the plane, if you want to call it that. Quite a short back swing. We'll yeah. see more of that from the front on view. There's that little bit of shallow on the way down, so he is getting that shallowing on the way down. Body's opening as he strikes the golf ball, but he definitely hits this golf ball out the toe. Slightly toe. It looks a little bit low, the flight does, and a little bit left as well when he's doing this shot. Let's flip it to the front view. Now, lead foot, left foot, we can see is flared out a lot. Okay, let's have a look at that when we go into the golf swing. Because as he then goes into his golf swing now, his back swing, there's hardly any rotation. I'd love to get him sort of um, measured here. He's probably got about 15 to 20 degrees maximum, of hip rotation. Maximum, yeah, maximum. That's, that's, that's less than John Rahm, that yeah. is, so that's actually not a lot. Obviously a good athlete because he still gets a pretty good turn considering his, um, sorry, good torso turn considering his hip turn isn't so good, or it's so short, but we can see from here, when we see this golf swing, Andy, there's definitely a few issues that you can get with your timing and definitely the contact as well. So how can this contact that he's getting out the toe especially be caused by that backswing? Well, as you said, Pierce, John's trying to sort of, he knows he wants to draw the golf ball, so yeah. he's working hard to get the club more up on the way back and then working hard to try and shallow it on the way down, which he does very good. Yeah. But the problem is really then, when there's such a big change, Pierce, as well, in that sort of angle or in that plane, then often that can lead to some inconsistent contact. But also, when we take a look at John's posture, John's posture definitely, his balance is a little bit off, mm. you know, and we'll talk about, about that a little bit more. And if his balance point is off in setup, then it's gonna be moving backwards and forwards during the golf swing. Yeah. And if, if we're moving our balance this way or back in the golf swing, then the club is gonna move and that's gonna produce these off center hits. So if you can get yourself more solid from the start yeah. in this good balance point, then the striking is gonna improve straight away. Okay, so I think, look, the, the good thing with this is, the flow and the movement of the swing is pretty good. By doing a couple of setup changes and having one different thought with the power the pelvis works in yeah. the backswing, we can get the club on a much better path and we can definitely get you hitting a draw when you hit these golf shots. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this quite easy, I think, for John, which is, the, which is the great thing. So look, let's go through posture first with John. And what we saw is that from a setup position here, he was actually a little back on the heels and the pelvis was back. Now from here, if I draw a line straight through my ankles, up behind my knees, you'll see that the pelvis or the hip, uh, hip joint is actually back. Now what we like to see, Pierce, if I get my posture now, we like to see that really that line goes straight through the ankle behind the knee and straight into the hip joint now. Perfect. That's a great place to get that posture. If we, we are here, it's so much easier then to maintain that posture and there's going to be less movement to the club yeah. forward and backwards. And if we can get that, that there, that's going to massively help his strike. So that's the first thing. And obviously the great news with that is you can just do that no problem without hitting any golf shots. So once you've actually got a lot more comfortable with that, we're going to do one more change on the setup, aren't we, with the lead foot? Lead foot, yeah. So let, let's just show you from the front view with, uh, with what John does. So John's got his lead foot out like so. Now that's great for clearing on the way through. Which he does really well. Which he does fantastically. But what he's, and I think with John Pierce, I think at some stage he's probably worked at not swaying. Because what we see with John is in the backswing, the lower body doesn't turn at all. And we'll see this knee and this, the foot here is almost restricted. So at the top of the swing here, there's just no movement of the hips. Now, if we go ahead and move this in slightly and actually allow a little bit of freedom in this lead knee, he can turn the hips. And you can see there now, look at the lead knee, Pierce it's allowing me to rotate better into this side. And the great thing about this, if we rotate into this lead, sorry, this trail hip in the backswing, it's going to encourage a path more consistent to the right yeah. 
and it's going to help him create a little bit more time in the golf swing. Well, you've actually produced about another 20 degrees of rotation exactly, by yeah. just doing so that. Exactly, yeah. So really is key for you, John, that we can make a good pivot in the backswing into this here because then you haven't got to work so hard at trying to get the club sort of almost positioned yeah. inside as opposed to actually letting the pivot do the work for him. So just set up to the side of the ball there, Andy, and just show me that swing again because as you said there, the the direction the club goes back on the way back now, because we're getting more rotation out of the pelvis, it's going to be nearer what we would call the swing plane. So yeah, that, that natural rotation of the pelvis gets the club swinging a little bit more round, as opposed to him feeling he's got to almost put it in place yeah. to play the draw. Okay, so look, really simple here, John, all we're saying is let's get in this more balanced uh, posture, and then let's get that left foot flared in, and then just focus on that pelvis rotating a bit. So let's see you hit one, Andy, let's okay. see if we can get a draw. We've got track man, we've got club path, we know if we're going to get a draw, we need that club path to be uh, positive and we want that face to path. Pretty much like this shot here, so his warm-up shot was actually really good. I've got to produce Can that again there again now. Can he do it on camera? Six to the right, okay. Now also he's going to see what strike I get because the trap man has now got the strike location on here. So let's see if I can get that path out to the right and a good strike. All right, so path right. Oh, we've got to give him it, haven't we? That's actually That's a pretty good, good That was a good, nice draw on that one. Again. Strike there, slightly off the heel, but not too bad. I'd take that on the golf course, but, Pierce. But that, the good thing with that is because he, you are you're rotating more here, the club is getting on a better track, now your strike suddenly becomes a lot more out the heel side. I think if Andy would have demonstrated doing that swing there where the club's yeah. going out on the way back, a lot more chance of it coming out of the toe. Yeah, and I think, look, I think from this, John, you have already an understanding of what you need to do to produce the draw but it was almost like he was trying to put it in position and instead of really allowing the body to flow and almost move it into position. I think that's a great thing that people could take from this, allow the body to move the club around in a position as opposed to put it there. So basically he's done all the hard work and we've just finished it off and we're taking exactly. all the glory. Exactly. John, there you go, thanks a lot. Okay guys, look, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or whatsoever, post them down below.